whole lot of people to thank. I just want to thank everyone who played a part in making this happen. This is going to be a very special card. Um, I'm privileged to be in, in, in to share the ring with Peter Quillen. As I said and alluded to in the past, that he's been on the radar for a very long time. And it's not because he's uh, this superstar or this whatever he claims to be, but it's more so that I understand that this is a fight that Brooklyn deserves. This is something that I understand that the Barclay has been asking for for a very long time, and this is why this fight has happened. Um, I'm looking forward to that night. I understand what he brings to the table. I'm more than ready for the, uh, the challenge. And you're gonna see exactly why my late great trainer, Victor Roundtree, always say, I rise to the occasion. Um, Today is my son's birthday, Nathaniel. So I just want to wish him a very happy birthday. Son, I love you. Um, I'm, I'm not going to really waste you guys' time, but as Lou said, please get your tickets. You're not going to want to miss this. It's going to be different being on TV than actually being there and witnessing that Brooklyn crowd and that energy and that, and that vibe and just the whole electricity throughout the building. It's going to be uh, probably, in my opinion, one of the best fights that Barclay has produced thus far. I'm excited about it. Once again, I want to thank everyone who played a part in this. Let's go. Team Jacobs, we here, baby. It's important for me to do that because, you know, um, I found something. You know, see that title right there? It's not about the title for me. I found out something in this camp. It's about how much you impact a person. I need to plant seeds in people's hearts that, you know, you can be from an effed up situation oversee the storm and come back even stronger. So I, I, try, I, put, I fight for the people that need strength, you know, that come from the hood, black America, all the Cubans that come here fighting for opportunity, people in Brooklyn trying to get out of Brooklyn. I, and that's who I fight for. Marcus Brown, who's a father, you know, that's it's a blessing to see a father with his kid because where I'm from, you don't see many fathers doing that. So I'm thankful. Bar Barclay Center, break your mark, you know, a big inspiration to me, you know what I mean? giving guys like me an opportunity to showcase my talent, be part of something huge. You know, everybody want to be part of something bigger than themselves. And I think all the people I'm on the panel with gives me that reason to fight even harder. You know, Danny Jacobs, I want to thank you. I want to tell you why, because you're the champ, calling an undefeated challenger out. It's a blessing. Let me know how far I came, you know what I mean? I come from nothing. So I'm thankful to be able to have this, this light and this opportunity you know, my dad came here to this country without a pair, without a pair of shoes on, without a shirt, just a pair of pants. And now his son is fighting for a world title fight. That's a blessing. I'm thankful. All the fighters that's on this panel who fighting with their own story grew up. I've been a big fan of yours, Jury. God bless you for all your your journey. All these guys here, Chris. All these guys making their story, man. It's a blessing. I just want y'all to just give respect to the fighters. You know, we go in there fight for whatever reason we fight for, and you guys are the fans of that, and we just want to be thankful for people that support us for positive reasons. It's a blessing to be able to do so. Made me give up my belt, or advised me to give up my belt. I gave my belt because I wanted to spend time with my family. No money can sell me out for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm thankful because he says, what good for a man to gain the whole world but forfeit his soul? You know? So I'm glad I made the decisions that I made in life that taught me to be a better man and a better person. I want to thank the media, because regardless of what y'all get of me, you know, it's inspiring and it'll motivate me, regardless of what you write, I'm thankful. I want to thank God for this opportunity. Y'all be blessed, go home, hug your family, because you know it's a blessing to be able to do that. And air is for free, so we gotta be thankful every morning we get that. God bless y'all, thank y'all.